One of the more rewarding things we've been doing with real estate is we, we've been taking homes and putting them on GoFundMe and sites along those lines, uh, which which people they generally give you know fifty bucks, a hundred bucks, sometimes twenty bucks. You know, what I mean, but just to help other people, we have a lot of situations where the people are going into foreclosure, they can't afford their mortgages. These are family homes. These are people that have been here for uh, centuries, like, you know, 30, 50 years. You know, all of a sudden they're facing times where they're being foreclosed on and uh, the banks are approving short sales and in, investors are coming into neighborhoods and, and buying these homes and, and renting them out to just whoever, you know, people that are generally not from these neighborhoods and not caring about these kind of things and uh, you know I had one situation where they rented it out to a, a, a massage parlor you know it was a neighborhood residential place with nice schools and this guy rented it out to a massage parlor uh, you know it was illegal and you know, eventually got settled but that's not you know inspiring at all uh, and this family got kicked out of their home and, and they had to get a, a, a rental and you know the, it's just it, it interrupts the whole family process we have these homes, um, they're generally from anywhere from, they're on Long Island, generally from anywhere from 150000 to 300000 in debt. Uh, I know some people's houses are worth that much, and sometimes, they, you know, it's the whole house that they need to buy. Uh, sometimes the, the family dies and, and the kids are left with nothing and they want to try to save the family home. It's a lot of different reasons why we do this and the, you know I make this generally masking video of you know why we're doing this and what we're doing and below will be the information of this particular one but this is for the whole scope of what we do people that are in trouble there's many different situations and what we do is we I mean 250 300 thousand is a lot to raise you know and in the long run when you think about it it's so much to raise that you know 300 thousand you can't even begin where to start but you know you'll find but pe people find money you know they find 40 50 bucks to go to a concert to do all kinds of things to go out to dinner you find a few hundred bucks right I mean it's not nothing's cheap anymore so I mean to save someone's home if we can get a whole bunch of people just to give, you know, 50 or 100 bucks or, or, or something along those lines uh, to help. And, and you know what? Even if we can't fully um, save, if we can't get like the 250 or, you know, some cases 150, if we can't get the money that we need, the 300,000, say, you know, then say we only get 50,000 we can we can go to the court and delay it and say look we are funding we are raising for this and we have we have 50,000 you know you, we need more time and they, and they will give us time they've done it before they we bring the money to court and we say we've done this and you know this is this is the part of my business that I love you know like there's there's people in this business that that prey on these kind of people you know they'll buy their house and they'll tell them oh, we'll buy you out and you can live there and then they they slowly start bleeding them and nickel and diming them and this is what happens in this industry you know I mean it, it takes all kinds right but we want to save the house for the family we want to keep the family there this is the goal of our funding and you know there's um, you know, for somebody to give 50 bucks that they would go to see a movie. You go to the movies now, it's 50, 60 bucks. You know what I'm saying? It's it's not a cheap thing. Anything. So, you know, to save someone's home, that 50 bucks, that 60 bucks, that 100 bucks, that's, it's going to be more rewarding in the long run to know that you're saving someone's home and keeping their, their homes... You know, some people just desperately need repairs. We have those kind of people too that we just need repairs. You know, sometimes they need sixty thousand dollars worth of repairs. Man, skip a movie. Help these people. You know, that, that's that's what our society is lacking these days. We really need to get back to that. And um, you know, hopefully, I can reach you, and hopefully, uh, you know, you can give up a little bit of uh, your comfort and give a little bit of yourself uh, to help these families and help these people. And, you know, please, if you want to get more involved, you want to get physically involved and actually help do a, do a clean out that we do, we go out and like clean out some of these houses and, 
you know, help with the construction and, you know, man, I, I, I've been, I've seen that some of the nicest sides of people during the process of doing this, you know, I mean, in, in other things, in other jobs and other positions and other times in my life, I've seen the worst in people, jobs that I had, I was like, wow, I can't believe the people really act like this. And, uh, you, know, so, you know, even you find yourself doing it as like normal behavior and everyone's doing it and everyone's doing this and you're just like, wow, you know, like, you know, it's just unbelievable. So when you go to, um, when you see people coming to lend a hand, like it's, you know, we had a, we had a lady who was like a hoarder and her, she died and her children wanted to take a house, but they had no money. We got them some money. We helped them like clean out the house. And man, there's nothing like that. It's, it's, it's unbelievable feeling. It's unbelievable to see. It's unbelievable to be a part of. And, uh, you know, you're not giving up much. We're not looking for, I mean, look, if you're, if you're a rich guy and you got a lot of money in you, you want to, uh, you know, just flat out clean $300,000, go for it. But, you know, most of us don't, are not in that position. And um, I certainly ain't. So, you know, I mean, most of these things I, I, I'm i giving, you know, 50, 60 bucks to, you know, or I'm paying for some of the advertising that goes out uh, just, just to get the word out and, uh, you know, giving time. And if you don't have money, you know, time. We, we, we can use your time, too. So, you know, email the, the, the number at the bottom and, you know, we'll get you something non-financial to help with but you know anything that you could spare like working middle class people you know you bring home a paycheck every week you know you, you'd be surprised what your fifty dollars can do you know you'd be very surprised you know and uh you know sometimes it's better to give to you know this individual like listen to this individual's story that their house is going into foreclosure their, their mother father died and left in this house and it's back taxes and they don't want to lose the family house i mean man you know what you get the same write-off on your taxes as you do is with a, a donation to you know any anyone else when i don't want to name names you know i get in trouble but you know one of these big organizations that everybody gives money to you know like great they're they're pretty well funded you know and uh, you know, but it's great. You get 50 bucks, you feel good, you get a break on your taxes, and blah, blah, blah. So you get the same break on your taxes, the same, but you actually get to see, you know, we do videos after, you get to see the people in their homes, you know, like, that got to save their home, that, uh, you know, got to still be a part of their own community. And you don't have to just be like, oh, I hope that this huge conglomerate corporation of a, of a charity is putting my money to the right use you know you can see it right away go to the right use so um man this is what we have to do as a society so help me out uh, help them out and you know let me know what you can do and uh we hope to see you soon thanks thanks for listening